Audio book masters, listen to your imagination. The Tale of 24 Dragons Women stopped eating meat. The sky turned grey and the clouds were heavy with tears of unborn babies. The world shrunk and those who were in the north could see and hear the suffering and screams from the south. The sun collided with the moon, creating an eclipse that lasted for 72 days. There was no way of knowing whether it was day or night, summer or winter. Flowers dried and the trees produced rotten fruits. There were episodes of floods and sandstorms. There were episodes of floods and sandstorms. Ice caps from the north melted and deserts were flooded. The woman gave birth to corpses. Babies died immediately after being separated from their mother's umbilical cords. Heat waves turned everyone black. There was no way of telling whether one is black or white. We all suffered. The rich shared with the poor in the misery of the world. Because of greed and selfishness, humans died more than other mammals. They became savages. Securing food became so important that there was no time to sit, stand or pray. And those who prayed died on their knees because of starvation and thirst. We all became heathens. The dispossessed Africans stopped fighting for land and liberation movements collapsed. There was no time for slogans and discussions on ontology, existentialism and the economy. People in Asia were the first to become cannibals. There was no way to liberate them because the oppressors suffered the same oppression as those they oppressed. The universe became the tyrant and those who were in power had death as their only sanctuary. Fishes died under extreme water temperature. Chimpanzees had leprosy and humans had a new sickness. And humans had new sicknesses. Sicknesses without names. The language that was spoken changed and people communicated by movement for words and numbers had lost their meaning. The only way of reaffirming life to the other was through motion, for even those who were dead were able to babble in awe of how the universe had flaunted its power and brutality. Audio book masters, listen to your imagination.